Some economists estimate that the financial toll of the pandemic could reach $14 trillion. Now, on top of all of that, the financial aspect there, there's the continued health struggles. Many people are still dealing with lingering long COVID symptoms. And today, the city of Irving will mark this solemn anniversary with a memorial. NBC5's Larry Collins is live there now with a look. Larry. Good morning. Yeah, hard to believe it's been four years ago today that we started really dealing with this in North Texas. So many lives changed forever. So many lives lost. Now we're in the middle right now of what is a memorial in the city of Irving. 250 people memorialized their pictures now on these pillars. People here locally who lost their lives to COVID complications. It's bittersweet. You know, it's sad that our loved ones had to be lost in a pandemic, um, but it's also taken a community to make sure that their memories stay alive. Now, Irving's Archives Museum is being transformed now into a memorial exhibit. The faces and names of these 275 lost in the last four years to COVID. It's called the More Than a Number Memorial. The memorial, a part of the Yellow Heart Memorial, led by people who lost loved ones to the pandemic. In these four years, more than 93,000 Texans have died of COVID-related complications, more than a million Americans overall. The memorial organizers say it is a reminder of those who were lost, but also a reminder of the families who are still dealing with the fallout, economic, emotional, mental, and physical, and some who have had lasting healing or health issues, dealing now with debilitating long COVID. We do have a huge population of long haulers that are still dealing with these symptoms and a lot of them that I know personally and have grown to love um, have actually their life has turned upside down. I mean, we're talking about professors and doctors that are not going to go back to that. Their their life is completely changed because of, of COVID. The exhibit will be dedicated today with a special ceremony starting at one o'clock. Surviving family members will be here in attendance. The memorial will stay up until April 7th here at the Irving Archives and Museum on West Irving Boulevard near City Hall. I mean, so you look at these pictures and you see so many stories and so many lives cut short, but I wanna bring your attention to this one. Mary Castro, she died in May of 2020. This is the mother of Rosie, the lady we just heard from. Rosie tells us that this lady right here is the reason for this memorial, the heart and soul of why she decided to do this. Live in Irving, Larry Collins, NBC5. Just an incredible story. Larry, thank you.